Welcome to Computer and Network Security. Today we are going to talk about the X.509 standard. The X500 series uh, was developed by the International Telecommunications Union, uh, ITU-T, uh, first approved in 1988. It's a series of computer networking standards covering electronic directory services. Uh, they were developed in order to support the requirements of X400 electronic mail exchange, email, and uh, name lookup, DNS. ISO was a partner in developing these standards, incorporating them into the OSI suite of protocols, um, in which we've uh, already talked about the uh, OSI model. So uh, X509 initially was issued on July 3rd of 1988, and uh, the certificates, the X509 certificates, are used in SMIME, IP security, uh, SSL, TLS, and HTTPS. So, what exactly is this X509 certificate? Uh, it's based on public key cryptography, and it authenticates that the entity on the other end of a communication is actually who they say they are, and not someone or something else that is just masquerading and acting as if they are someone else. Um, the X509 standard allows various options for algorithms for ensuring authenticity of signed messages. Uh, they, it'll utilize SHA-1, which is a hashing algorithm, Remember, hashing is a one-way algorithm. And, uh, so, this is used uh, very frequently. This is used in HTTPS. So, when you go to a secure website uh, and you contact a certifying authority, what you're actually downloading back, the certificate that you're getting back is the X509 certificate. There are three different uh, formats for the X509 certificates. This is what it looks like. I'm not going to go into depth on this. Uh, take a look at the papers and the standards. Uh, I actually have a standards document posted uh, so that you can see what all of these different fields mean. I do have on the next slide uh, just a real sh brief summary of each one of those fields uh, that are in the certificate. This is what a certificate looks like. Uh, I'm sure that some of you may have seen something that looks like this already. Uh, whenever you go to a website uh, that is secure, you can see what the certificate is just by looking at the, uh, see the little padlock if you're using Firefox or another browser similar to that. You can actually see the entire certificate that uh, is being used that you have downloaded from some kind of a certifying authority. So the way that this works is uh, when you want to request uh, something secure, you have to con uh, on like a website, you have to contact a uh, certificate authority, a CA. Your browser has a number of uh, CAs already built into it that are trusted. Uh, these are created or the, the, they are developed by the developers, the programmers of the browser and they say uh, this certifying authority is trusted and they just include it in there. So you start off uh, by contacting one of them sending off your public key because then they encrypt the certificate that comes back to you using your public key so that nobody along the way knows uh, that you are getting that certificate back. The certificate that you're getting back is actually a public certificate though. Uh, there's nothing private uh, involved in that. And that's your uh, X509 certificate and then you use that to uh, get the, uh, to access to encrypt the data as you transmit it over to a website. There is a hierarchy for uh, certification authorities. It works very similar to DNS. We talked about that a little bit in the past, uh, where uh, you will contact a lower certifying authority. If they do not have the certificate that you're looking for, they will then contact another certifying authority, which is higher uh, up in the hierarchy until you get all the way to the root. And if the root doesn't have it, that means that it doesn't exist and you're going to get an error message that um, comes back. I know that this was a very short lecture. Um, if you want to look up more about how uh, X509 works and where it's used and so on, uh, the best place to look is the standards document, which was produced by the ITU-T. So you can go ahead and take a look at that, read over that, and uh, um, if you have any questions, let me know.